what is going on it's blazing Dairy here and today in this vlog it is la vlog number three y'all saw sneaker con maybe the one when we first got into los angeles and if you haven't links will be in the description below check those out before you check this one out we're outside this beautiful house look at the view we're gonna be taking a look at some of the most famous streets in Los Angeles today. Melrose, Fairfax, the places with the hype stores. We're gonna be shopping. I almost broke the wallet. We just got to round two and we're gonna see what's inside. Maybe we're gonna see a cool piece of street where I might like. Maybe we see nothing at all. Let's check it out. These are the glitters in person. Pretty cool. Patent leather is not patent leather. That is really shiny. I wonder if these sold out on drop day. Uncle Dunks. We got a size, looks like 15. <laughs> 11 and a half. The what the? See, I think they did New York a little dirty though. They did the Los Angeles one good though. So nothing caught my eye, maybe vintage, because finding vintage is tough to come by. I'm trying to make a TikTok too, so if you guys uh, wanna follow me there, I'll leave my official link in the description below. Let's we'll see if I can get to a billion, jillion followers. We'll give away my entire life if we do. I looked around a little bit, and I found this at Coca-Cola. Now the reason I like this piece is because Coca-Cola is associated with the color red. But as you can see, this is a nice teal. Vintage Apple stuff goes for quite a bit of money. This is $150. 1990. Man, $200. So I'm looking through here, I found a pretty cool Christmas gift. I could definitely get this for someone. You know, this is a good piece for Yeezus. Reptile wear. Rest in peace to my man Yeezus, I know. Or she was a girl actually. So I looked at this Mario shirt and it is $200. Like, yeah, it's 200. Something very interesting is the size of these leaves. Look at this. Why is this leaf so big? <laughs> That's a fan, my guy. Soda like that, so that was an opportunity. Plus, I like ginger ale. That was a really good pizza. Wow. <laughs> wow. Viewers, I'm excited. So, we are just walking around. It's December, so of course, it's a little cold, but I didn't expect it to be this cold, so I'm a little concerned with that. Might need to buy a jacket. I'm freezing on the way. This is a cool jacket. I want to see if they have like a bigger size. This is a large. Wow. Alright, let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cop just because this is a really nice jacket. I think the fit's good. Look at this right here. The swoosh is missing and it's been placed downwards a little bit. The regular just do it hoodie. It's kind of thick though if you feel it. Like... out of bait and I actually got some Medicom Toy Story figurines and they're gonna go in my living room when I get home so we'll go ahead and display them Look at me eventually all right well we gotta ride all the way back down and drop it off at the bottom of the hill we literally rode all the way up to where our Airbnb was, just to find out that we can't park here. My is dead. I'm gonna ride down this hill Fuck and bomb it. The following day. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a great day. This is our last full day in California. It's kind of upsetting. Tomorrow we leave on an early morning flight and we head back to Charlotte. So we wanna make the most out of this last day and we're gonna be hitting up a lot of different spots between the beach to some amusement to the shopping on Rodeo Drive, which we did not get to fully explore and uh, link up with some homies. So without further ado, let's hit it. 
For my outfit of the day segment, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Got a new Amiri tee in one of the new videos, and I also got this Nike jacket yesterday night because it was freezing, and it ended up being one of my favorite jackets I'm gonna have for the trip, just because it's so furry and it's keeping the wind out. We also got on the Fashion Nova jeans, which I posted a fire outfit photo on my Instagram, and it would mean the world to me if you guys would go like it. And of course, the off-white sneakers in which, and I can't stop wearing them, they're like my favorite Air Jordans. Got that sneaker con legit on there. I hope you guys like the way this lens looks. I love, love this lens. So we just made it to Rodeo Drive, and there's honking, and there's also a lot of shopping, but we also passed Celery. Bendy. Bendy. <laughs> Which y'all saw, and the Uber lady was very nice. We're just gonna go store to store, see what each place has to offer. Hopefully we find something cool. What's up with you, buddy? What, is, what do we got on right here? Keeps all the stuff I need. Got my glasses, my cough drops, cause you know I was just sick. My gum, all my stuff that I need. We definitely wanna go to Louie. So we have celery. And guys. we have uh, we have Louis Vuitton, so we're definitely gonna stop in a Louis Vuitton just because why not? We got the man posing for the flick. This is like one of the most famous spots for photos in Los Angeles. Back here, it's like this little street with a ton of shopping. Look at this, yo. For reservation only. Eleven. Oh, this code is so cool. That's really cool. This the backpack. Look at that. Oh, these shoes remind me of my literal Gucci ones. Yeah, but they just have LV denim. These are sweet though. Oh, look at that duffel. The duffel, that particular one? Uh, just the all the ones with the map on it, That's yeah. True. The music box. <laughs> okay, yes. How much is this one? That one is about... That particular That's one is a limited edition, 410. What about this one? It's 765. Do you have any other similar prints to this? No, with some, I have a lot of plain ones. And, you know, what about the golf tees? This one comes in red too. We have a robe, of jumping robe. We have some lit uh, weights. What else? I bought your guys' uh, prison tower. You did? Uh, this is 850. 850. 850. Yeah. This is like a literally like a little. It's a keychain though, right? Yes. It's okay. a yeah. It's a charm keychain. You can tuck it to your bag. They kept showing me these products with the map on them, and I really, really like them. Yep. Oh yes, you can put your initial in there. It's amazing. So there's so many great products here, at Louis Vuitton. We've definitely checked out a bunch of different options. It's all about now which piece I actually want to end up walking away with and what's going to suit my needs most for the price. I mean, when you're shopping at a place like this, it's very expensive. It gets very expensive very quick. I just want to make sure that I'm copying something that I'm going to love. Listen to this weird stuff they got playing. Just voices and... So they have that duffel, which I thought was really nice. They also have a little wallet and this crew neck. A little tight. It's also leaning towards, of course, the wallet. Both of them, as a set, I'm getting a little bit of what I want because I use the hell out of this. And then the phone, and then the wallet is like I'm getting that print without having to get a duffel. I've beaten up the Gucci one for a little while. I'm uh, ready for a new beginning. This wallet's really, really cool. I just can't believe I got a whole video done in Louis again. And you guys got to see a point of view of all the hottest and latest Louis Vuitton stuff. Maybe some gift ideas because it's Christmas coming up. I might do something for Christmas too, but I can't put any. Los Angeles, LA, Louis Vuitton segment. We're gonna see you guys back at home where we go over these pieces. Great hospitality, even though filming was 
not allowed. I mean, shout out to all the amazing employees, but like man's gotta eat. And we got to see the third floor balcony of Louis Vuitton. I'll show you guys a little iPhone clip that I got on my phone and we came at the sunset it was like the perfect time what did you guys think of it no that was super sick super sick we're gonna go probably eat right now rodeo i mean it's it's pretty early to be this dark i feel like 5 30 then we're gonna go visit the beaches continue this vlog i'm telling you carabiner clips are truly the best look at this la is cold san diego don't get this cold I thought it was gonna be like 65. The exact opposite. <laughs> so you're a consumer of the Blazonary Messenger bag that is released on Blazonary.com? Yeah, um, shopblazonary.com. I actually purchased it from shopblazonary.com. We just finished up the food. I thought it was really good. You're off? Uh, I'm off. Nice to see you, Jaden. Seriously. Good to see you. Hi, brother. It was nice to meet you, G. All right, Jaden. Yo, I'll see you on the computer, bruh. <laughs> We just arrived at Venice Beach. We're out on the beach. We're back from California, back in the hype room, back where we belong. But I have to say, this video is sponsored, and let's talk about that. Fantasy Sneaker League is an online trading game where you can buy, sell, and play against other players to compete for real world prizes. For example, if I just hop in this game right here, essentially it's gonna tell you the remaining time, balance, and special power-ups that are in the game. The goal is to essentially have the best portfolio in the allotted time, which is two minutes and 50 seconds now. So these Vapor Max, I think these ones might go up. Uh-oh, I'm down on these Vapor Maxes. But the ones went up. All right, we're gonna sell these, take our profit. Up 16 already, up $253 sell new high score so as you can see i'm playing against other people some people they're pretty good some people nah, not so much but what you get from this is you get tickets after you play the game you get redeemable tickets for the app in which you can win real prizes like superstars Yeezys and tomorrow they'll even be doing the Pharrell NMDs and the cool thing is too If you just want to enter in the giveaways you can just buy the tickets right on the app So I highly encourage you guys to download this as it's a free fun game and you get real stuff for playing and see if I'm in your game So now let's talk about these pickups that we got from the stores You saw first we went to round two and I copped some stuff at their vintage So we got a Xmas gift and a Yeezus rest in peace t-shirt, uh, you know, it's special to me my lizard passed away. It's kind of tragic, but it's okay. I'll always have reptile wear now to honor him. Her. I do that every time. At bait, like I mentioned too, we got those Medicom figures. Now these figures, they're all Toy Story. I grew up with Toy Story as a kid. I'm sure a lot of you guys did too, if you're similar to my age, 19. And so they were selling them as a collaboration with Medicom. And I checked online and these things came out a very long time ago. So I did not pay resale, I paid retail and I could essentially make money on all these little figures. Now, this one too is just a little fun one. I love, I love collecting cards. It's like one of my favorite hobbies. So these ones were a pack of Snoopy cards and they also hooked it up with some of their stickers. So thank you, Bait, um, even though they didn't let us film in there. It's all good. <laughs> I would have to say my favorite figure is gonna be Rex just because of the size in comparison to the other figurines. And lastly, the title and thumbnail of this video, the Louis Vuitton shopping spree. There were so many options. I didn't wanna ball out too crazy. However, I did wanna walk away with something that I wasn't gonna be able to get anywhere else. And so during their little holiday themed store, section area, whatever, tucked away were some beautiful pieces. We'll start with the small one. This first one is the wallet that I ended up going with. That matte print looks so cool. I've never seen it before. I'm also in the market for a new wallet just because my personal Gucci wallet is so beat up at this point but this print on it is so dope. And I was very conflicted on what to get. Should I have gotten the matching duffel for the wallet or should I have got something separate? I realized I don't use duffels all that much and it would be pointless to have another duffel sit on a wall. So I instead got something I know I'd use. I love the messenger bag stuff. I mean, I made my own for God's sakes. And y'all hear me talk about it all the time, but this one right here is a really cool one. The Louis Vuitton, the rainbow tie dye on this little keychain part on the bag. What I really like about it is the versatility. I mean, you could wear it as like this, 
you could wear it behind you because the strap is so thick. And if you guys notice, the whole thing is expandable. So this is the expanded version of the bag, but you could just go ahead and literally zip it all the way back around. And it's now a smaller version of the bag once again. I'm a huge fan of it. Y'all gonna see me rock it on the gram. Uh, this is part of their new 2054 collection, so futuristic. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for clicking on it, watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, join the Blazin' fam, and drop a comment down below. What was your favorite part or favorite moment of this video? Maybe favorite thing I bought? Let me know. I'm just curious to see. I'll be responding to your comments. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, be sure to check out the sponsor of this video. Link in the description and I'll see y'all with another video very soon. It's Blazonary. I'm out. Happy holidays. Peace.